Some schools may be going virtual, but school supplies are still needed for kids all over central Illinois. That's why one nonprofit is helping out families around the area. And WCIA3's Andy Olson is live in the newsroom. And Andy, how many kids are they helping out? Well, Jen, today at the Don Moyo Boys and Girls Club in Champaign, a group of volunteers made 887 back-to-school kits. Each one was personalized for certain grades and ages, and they even had a little help from an Illini legend. It's back-to-school season, but it's not one we've ever seen before. Schools are choosing to be back in the classroom, all remote, or a mix of both. But through it all, back-to-school Illinois' mission has stayed the same providing school supplies for kids who need them. There's about 1.2 million uh, families in Illinois um, that are considered low income every year. And these are the ones that are having to make those hard decisions about whether they pay the rent or the mortgage or how they pay for food. So often school supplies, unfortunately, they can't afford it. And so what our organization does is provide them. The nonprofit says the pandemic has had an impact on how families can afford school supplies, especially those who have been out of work for an extended amount of time. Receiving the kid um, really helps out a lot, um, especially considering I'm just now getting back to work, so this kind of helps out a lot. The assembly line for the kits had volunteers from all over, and it also included the all-time leading scorer in fighting Illini history. Dion Thomas says he's known the nonprofit's CEO for years, and when they came to Champaign, he knew he wanted to help. We thought that a partnership, it would be great to come back and do something here in the community. So I went and spoke to my higher-ups, you know, Howard Milton and Josh Whitman were on board with doing something here back in the community. So we just wanted to be able to come together and be able to do something good for the people here. Back to school, Illinois couldn't see kids' reactions in person, they're getting help distributing from the Stevens Family YMCA, the Boys and Girls Club, the Odyssey Project, and the Vermilion County Regional Office of Education. But they're still happy to know they're making a difference. It's, it's just tremendously rewarding uh, to see that, that firsthand impact. This was the first time Back to School Illinois has had an event in Champaign, but they said they're hoping to turn it into an annual event. And hopefully, Jen, Thomas will be back next year as well. Andy, absolutely. And it's so great to see U of I alum giving back, right, Marley? Absolutely, Jen. And we spoke to Dion today about everything from this year's Illinois basketball team to his professional career. But today we'll hear from another former line. Nick Hardy will be at the Lincoln Land Championship in September. But in the meantime, he's climbing the ranks on the Corn Ferry Tour. That's coming up next.